maps up of all the places where there are possible speed traps and tollway zones and illegal right turns, you can download a version of that map for your GPS system. Put it in your GPS system in your car, and it'll warn you when you're coming up on one of these things. Thanks a lot, Russell. I think I'm going to stick to the low-tech method. That is, watch for the signs and look for the nice, pretty police car. It says police on it. And uh, I'm going to have try and have a ticket-free day every day, Melissa. Good thing, Cam. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> well, Queen's Park giving the green light to expand GO Transit and to build a new rail line out to Pearson Airport. Metrolinx is the company behind this project. It will be allowed to extend the Georgetown corridor and to connect Union Station and the airport. But the province is putting 18 conditions on this plan. Among them, the trains must be of the newest technology to cut down on pollution. Metrolinx will also have to conduct health studies to make sure that any risks to the public are identified and dealt with. The struggling economy appears to have had little effect on the GTA's housing market. Home values are now at an all-time high. The average resale price of a home hit a record high, around $406,000 in September. The Toronto Real Estate Board says that the spike in values was seen right across the board, from lower-end homes all the way up to luxury condos, and they expect that prices will continue to rise. A very special announcement will be made this morning. The shortlist will be unveiled for this year's Scotiabank Giller Prize. It's worth $50,000, and the Giller is Canada's most lucrative literary award. Keep it right here on CB24. We'll bring you coverage of today's announcement. David Letterman, he is airing his private issues again on the heels of his live confession about affairs with staffers. Letterman apologized this time to his wife on air last night. He's also offering some relationship advice, warning couples to stay honest with each other. At that point, there's only two things that can happen. Either you're going to make some progress and get it fixed, or you're going to fall short and perhaps not get it fixed. So let me tell you, folks, I got my work cut out for me. Hmm. Well, last night's show was the first that Letterman taped since Thursday. That's when he made the initial disclosure. He came clean after he appeared in court to testify as the victim of an alleged $2 million blackmail threat. Oh, you'll love this next story. A population explosion in a small Iowa town, but the newcomers, they don't have much to say about it. Well, a local business owner noticed, well, there's a lot of new benches throughout their town, but no one was sitting on them. So she came up with a rather creative plan and built 35 mannequins to fill the empty seats. And the mannequin designer, no dummy, she's hoping they're also going to attract a few tourists. Are you... Okay. There's something kind of Michael Jackson about it all. I'm Who, not sure. Who's not saying weird right now? Right. Especially when some of them look like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah. Have you seen the ones where, where people do those things, same things with the dried up apples, though? They dry up the apples and the, it makes old people's faces. <laughs> kind of creepy that's, thing. Yeah, but that's creative, no? Yes. All right, uh, we're going to talk about uh, dogs. We've been asking you all week for your funny dog photos because we have this huge Scooby-Doo Great Wolf Lodge prize pack valued at over $1,100. The new title, a new title is included, The Mystery Begins, uh, plus that Great Lodge. $1,100, as Mel was saying. Uh, let's go through some of the uh, pictures that we have from folks. Thanks so much for these. Uh, well, let's go first to the dog. I think it's Micah or Mika. Uh -huh. and, he <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. and he thinks he owns our white couch. Yes, my dog, too. Thank you so much, Lan. How how cute. All right, this is from Samantha. This is my Cocker Spaniel, Jackson. <laughs> celebrating, <laughs> celebrating his first birthday. Isn't he a sweetie? I would agree. Yes, oh, a sweet cake. Oh, very, very nice. All right, this one coming in. Uh, it's two-year-old Minnie Dachshund. <laughs> <laughs> Driving a car. This is Billy. He's two years old. Uh, he's just, he only has his learner's permit. <laughs> but he loves to have his picture taken. I want to know how he's working the gas pedal. And also, uh, this is Sammy the Bull. This is from Allison. Sammy the Bull, uh, Halloween last year. Hello there, Sammy. Hello, Sammy. Oh, that is great. And again, a Scooby-Doo DVD. I love this music. DVD library. DVD library. I can't, I can't speak. This music is throwing me right off. I love it. And also, uh, a two-night stay at Great Wolf Lodge in Niagara. Total value, $1,100. Keep All them right. coming. Then we're keeping coming because we're announcing the winner. This show. Okay? Yes, this, this show. show. All and right. Uh, it is the holidays. It's nice to think about bringing uh, uh, somebody home for the holidays, whether it's a friend or a new friend forever. And how about it? Matt Babel, he's at the Newmarket OSPCA this morning. Hello. Right here. Look, 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 look. <gasps> hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yes, we're joined by some, some beagles right now. Um, I'm also joined by Mike Arms. He's the founder of I Am Homes uh, for the Holidays and actually had a very touching story as to why you were inspired to uh, create this foundation. Uh, how did it all come about? Well, we were talking about many years ago when I was trying to save a little dog that was hit by a car and had a broken back and lay in the street. And when I went out to get him, because we had no drivers available, so I went out myself, and this little one was laying in the street and bent almost backwards in half, looked like Benji. Just I got the ambulance to pick this little one up, these three fellows came out of an apartment building doorway and said, what do you think you're doing? I says, obviously this one's dying, I'm taking it to the hospital. And they said, no, you're not taking it anywhere. I said, why, is it your dog? And they said, no, we're betting on how long it's gonna live. So I said, well, you guys are really sick. And I reached down and I scooped the little one up just like this little guy. And I was holding him in my arms, and he was shaking so badly like he was going to fall. So I just looked down at him, and he stared into my eyes with his beautiful brown eyes and was like staring into my soul and held me spellbound. And just as I turned to put him in the ambulance, that's when these three fellas stabbed me, beat me, and laid me in the street. But that's when I found the love for these animals that we as humans can emulate, this little one found a way to crawl to me and start licking me back to consciousness and he wouldn't give up on me until I opened my eyes and when I did and I realized what was taking place I laid there and I cried and I prayed don't take my life today give me another chance and I'll devote it to them which I've done and from now until yeah, since that time I've saved over five million animals that's just a, a, an amazingly touching story and to think at one point you were considering getting out of saving lives of dogs just because of all the cruelty that went on that's, that is correct. Yeah. Really touching story, and uh, we're trying to place as many dogs as possible. I am, homes, I am home for the holidays. And uh, next we're going to be checking out some kitty cats, and as well we're going to find out about the adoption process and how if you want to adopt a dog, um, how easy it is. Melissa, well, Steve? Oh, my gosh, what a story. Thank Thanks. you so much, Matt. Oh, that's just so touching. Uh, we still want to hear what your favorite holiday is now at CB24.com. All right, we had the holiday quiz a couple of minutes ago, and Argos tickets are going to the winner. Uh, Christmas Vacation Chevy Chase as Clark Griswold was the, the flick and the character and the person who stars in it. That was the answer uh, that we had, and we got those Argos tickets out to you. Thanks yes, so thank you so much for playing, and uh, congratulations to the winner. Up next, we've got headlines at 744, 8 degrees. This is CB24 Breakfast. Mm. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Now catch Toronto's only 24-hour news channel anywhere, anytime. Weather, traffic, breaking news. Watch on TV. Then listen in your car on CP24, Radio 1050. At blinds to go we guarantee the lowest prices because we make them ourselves. Whatever you need, wood blinds, cellular or Roman shades, vertical blinds, you name it, we're lower. And right now, you can save another 10 to 40% off our most popular styles. For quality, service, fast delivery, and the lowest prices, call 1-800-BLIND-7 for a store near you. Blinds to go. Why shop anywhere else? Meet Sam. He's a born athlete. That's why Fisher Price invented 3-in-1 smart sports. It puts his brain in the game. So while he's practicing his ABCs and 123s, he'll also be an MVP. Circle. New 3 in 1 Smart Sports, only from Fisher Price. And meet Ella. With the new SmartFit Park, she'll be playing and learning. Now that's a real day at the park. SmartFit Park, only from Fisher Price. Batteries not included, each sold separately. Play, laugh, grow. My company is too small to get the comprehensive group insurance plan my employees want. Actually, no business is too small for the Chamber's Group Plan Benefits Program. Full benefits are available even if your business is just one person. Visit ChambersGroupPlan.com for more information. Most insurance companies don't want to cover employees in our line of work. The Chamber's Group Plan Benefits Program will provide guaranteed health and dental coverage for any industry, any workplace, or any occupation. Visit ChambersGroupPlan.com for more information. Tonight, until you think you can dance Canada. The top eight take the stage like never before. Bizzle, Melanie, Everett, Tara Jean, Cody, Jamie Ray, Emmanuel, and Kim. Ooh. 
Mia Michaels and Dan Carradine guest judge. And last year's winner, Nico, takes his turn at choreography. You are insane! The top eight perform on a new episode of So You Think You Can Dance,